Alright, hey guys, so today I'm going to be trying out the beginning of Call of Cthulhu. Uh, probably mispronouncing that, but this is sort of an investigative horror game set in the Lovecraftian universe. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, came out last week right before Halloween, and it was quite expensive being at $45. So hopefully it's a good experience. So what I know of Cthulhu, and I'm sorry if anyone gets annoyed that I'm pronouncing it wrong, um, it's some sort of like mythological creature um, that like cultists worship, it's like some sort of like demonic god or something like that. I really don't know a whole lot. <laughs> um, if anyone knows more than that. Feel free to like write in the comments below and explain more about the uh, about the universe. Cause right now I'm just kind of whoa, that was a big creature. Kind of just going in blind here. So it looks like I'm in a dark cave. Wait, what is this? Oh, okay, so I need that to open the doors. Oops. Wasn't sure what button to press though. It sort of just starts here. Looks like there's a bunch of dead sharks. What a putrid offering. Or are these whales? That one looks like a whale. And Cthulhu, like, from images I've seen of it, it's like some sort of strange, like, octopus-looking man. <laughs> I, I don't know, I never really got into the, uh, mythos behind it. Everything has already been written. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Okay, so that was just some crazy dream. I hate whiskey. The graphics look surprisingly good. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Alright, so I'm like a uh, detective. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. And from what I read at the beginning of the game, it seems like I'm having trouble finding work and I need to find another case before I get fired or I lose my license. Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. So it is 1924. So that's why that music's playing. I used to be an avid reader. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. <laughs> the couch looks comfy. Um, Alright, I guess I'll check... Have a drink, don't drink. Um, I guess I'll have a drink. This will affect your destiny. Probably turn off the radio too. What does that say? US is voted dry? Oh, is that whenever uh, like prohibition happened? I don't know my history. <laughs> it's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Uh oh. Alright, so. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? Alright, getting a phone call. I'm listening. Investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge.
charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Okay, um... So it looks like there's a skill tree type thing here. Your ability to find hidden objects. I guess we'll upgrade that. That sounds useful. Your knowledge of human behavior. Improving this increases your chances of understanding the motives of a person based on his or her behavior. So this is definitely like a crime scene investigative game. We're going to be doing a lot of talking and a lot of uh, interrogating. Um, medicine represents your medical knowledge. Improving this skill increases your chances of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts and expressing your knowledge of the myth. Hmm. All right. So, I mean, all right. Let's let's go ahead and spend all of the rest of our points here on investigation. Maybe that'll help us later on. And let's go ahead and uh, leave. Validate. Yes. Achievement unlocked. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... I'm coming. <laughs> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. I will say I really like the voice acting so far. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Cthulhu. Oh Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. I will say the facial That's animations aren't, like, amazing. The painting? But I placed a file on the your voice desk. acting is so it good that it doesn't matter that have much. On the affair. All right. Let's a go. warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. All right, it says Warehouse 36 Darkwater. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decided decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawking's mental frailty. Why? All right, let's go ahead and look at this painting. Investigation. Watch this symbol on the man's chest. It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements um dark water never heard of the place 
Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Okay, um... The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. <laughs> the facial animations are That's really, really bad. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. I guess we'll go ahead and go to Darkwater. Dark Water. Wait, hold on. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. We'll no look. doubt find some information on this island in the natural sciences, linguistics. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. All I have to do is go okay. to the port. That explains all that the I dead sharks able to take me to and whales that I saw at the beginning of the game. All right, so it's quite an interesting uh, intro. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family, her husband and her son. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label and address, a warehouse set on the docks of an island of dark water. The place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation. So we've set sail to dark water. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and skip the cutscene. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, Welcome to dark water. A sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the harbor master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. It's kind of funny that the bar's name is Stranded Whale, and there's a stranded whale sitting right there. I'm kind of confused why they have a whale just sitting there. <laughs> Are they trying to put it back in the water, or do they take it out of the water? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go in the bar first, because that's what he told me to do. Prohibition. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. <laughs> hey. Well, I wasn't expecting that.
It's certainly a very atmospheric game with like some interesting characters. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Oh, the guy didn't show respect. Hold the test strength. You're overdoing it. I'm sorry. Hold the test eloquence. It wasn't me who went looking for it. Um. You saw what happened. He's the troublemaker. Got another achievement. Oh, you're a true mainlander. A real prince, that is. You strut around with your la da ways, and then, as soon as the pressure arises, you start squealing. His face looks so You don't stuff. have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You've got to earn it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak, then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36? Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my bar. Oh, come on. Because of a little tussle. Drinking it here is a privilege, and I grant the privilege to whoever I want. Anything else? So I kind of like that there is... That'll be um, all for now different paths in the game that sort of affect the story so because i like chose the option to um about like fighting with that guy didn't apologize i wasn't able to get a drink everyone looks so creepy and weird in this game so i'm gonna go ahead and leave let's go ahead and journey back out we'll do the next step talk to Fitzroy who's up here I think that's the main objective I'm not sure if it's the main one or not actually I wish you would say their names above I their heads I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests they're on the table next to you but in truth you're likely to be disappointed when you're done come join me on the deck these manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins that's all I'll get from them the rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? All right. Um, so he just disappears. So I really like. I mean, I really like the graphics. The game looks nice. Um, From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor: the hardworking lives of my sailors, the fights at the stranded whale. Even the antics of these war friends don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. The giant thing over there, or Understood. is there a smaller one? You know who the building belongs to, don't you? Yes. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Okay. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. All right. So I gained a point. And I guess you can use your points for whatever you want. Um, I mean, I don't have enough to level up, so I might as well just wait. So get inside warehouse 36. Second objective, talk to Bradley. What are you, shysters? You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. 
That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. So this is Bradley. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36. Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't... Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Okay, so warehouse, whatever, should be over this way, I'm thinking. Come on, you can tell me. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. All right, so apparently the warehouse is being guarded by these two guys. There's people like everywhere they can talk to. That's interesting. Come on, you could tell me. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's going to be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Gentlemen, you have a problem. What? Who do you take yourself for, stranger? Your boss is very unhappy with your work. Oh yeah? You're bluffing. She said those knuckleheads are incapable of staying at their post. Darn it! You think he's telling the truth? We'll find out. Prove that you really know, Cat. Uh-oh. It's risky to question my word. I wouldn't like you to get cut with a certain Italian knife. Okay, okay. You've convinced us. And is she who sent you? What do you want from us? I thought I made it clear. I have to take a look inside the Hawkins warehouse. Leave me alone, and I'll put in a good word for you with Cap. Um, okay, it's a deal. Alright, so that was kind of interesting. I overheard their conversation, and then I used the conversation to uh, mislead them to get into the warehouse. Am I even going the right way? <laughs> Wait, what? What's in here? This is nothing. Alright. Where is... Okay, I feel really stupid right now. Where is the door to the warehouse? Unless it's up there, but I can't climb this ladder. Is this like a puzzle? Alright, it must be something to do. Oh, okay. Let's see. Alright, time to pick the lock. Perfect. Ugh, oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? To enter a reconstructed scene, hold. Both left mouse and mouse button, and right mouse button. Ooh. What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Is 
It smells as bad as it looks. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? Can't sleep. I know how that... Le Petit Parisian. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? What happened here? Okay, so I guess based off your skills, you can uh, determine what happened in these crime scenes. New clue memorize Hawkins Warehouse. Okay. So I guess I'm supposed to go back to the guy at the beginning and use what I found out to gain more clues. Or like to. Someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! Detective Pierce, I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Wound up? You mean messed up? No. We don't take no lessons from the likes of you. We do our job carefully and fairly. No stone was left unturned. Really? Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. <laughs> Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. <laughs> Why you? Come on, it's not even keep fat. the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. <laughs> Is it far? Some of the dialogue is kind of cringy. Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins Mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. All right, so I think that's the end of chapter two. I'm moving on to chapter three, where we go to the mansion and do some more investigating on what the heck happened. Um, it seems like all the people in the town are probably in in with whatever happened. They're probably like cultists or followers of the weird painting creature Cthulhu. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting game so far. I'm I'm quite enjoying it. Um, if you're into more story-driven, like investigative type crime scene games. Uh, more just adventure games without any real gameplay. You're just sort of talking around and um, sort of creating your own little experience. There's different paths and so forth. Uh, you might enjoy this game, but I would probably wait for a sale. It's quite expensive at the moment, $45. The graphics are good, though, and it does seem like it's a pretty well-thought-out story. Um, so I think I'll end it here. Looks like there's someone at the mansion. That's quite interesting. But um, thanks for watching and have a nice day.